Well, hello, church. This is Pastor Jack Pigeon, and uh, what a great day. What a great time we are living in. Hey, I've got a uh, glass of water here, and it's half full. You know, the world is full of two types of people. One type says, thank you, Jesus, that my cup is half full. The other says, oh, my God, I only have a half a cup. Well, I'm going to tell you, we that are born again, filled with the Spirit of God, our cup is always overflowing. <clears throat> Amen? God's always had a place for His people. He, the first one was an ark. Noah built an ark for the saving of his family. And you know, their comment was, God is sufficient. God is able. Our cup is half full. Yet there were thousands of people on the outside that were screaming because their cup, they didn't, they didn't have enough. Amen? Can you imagine the land of Goshen when God put His people uh, in Egypt, he put them in a certain place, and, and they're saying, our God is sufficient. Look, our God is supplying for us. Our God is protecting us from all of these plagues that are going on outside our territory. Well, don't you know those people outside the territory, they looked in, they had to be envious of these people because God was watching over them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we are today. We are in a safe place. This coronavirus, it's bad, and I'm not taking it lightly. But if you are born again by the Spirit of God, if you recognize Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you understand the power in His name, the power in His Word, and the power in His blood, you are protected. Amen? God's watching over you because He watches over His Word to perform it. So I just want to encourage you today. We've got all through the Bible that God has a special place for His chosen people. Amen? I'm looking at Psalms 23. What a great Psalms during this time. The Lord is my shepherd. That means I trust in Him. That means He's going to take care of me. And it goes on to say, uh, I shall not want. Amen? I'm not nervous about the coronavirus. I am about other people, and we pray for other people that don't know the power in the Word. We don't know the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so we're praying for the world, that they would come to the revelation that greater is He that's in us than he that's in the world. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy... He's the one behind all of this. God's not behind it. God doesn't send stuff like this. So the devil is coming to bring fear, but the Bible says God's not given us that spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. Amen? He leadeth me beside the still waters. Oh, he comforts me. He restoreth my soul. And then it says, yay. Everybody say, yay. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I think that's what this is. It's a shadow. The, the devil's trying to, to uh, uh, scare us, make us be afraid, but I know my covenant rights. I know I have the promises of God. And during these times, we're not going to stagger at the promise of God, for we know that God is well able to watch over us and to keep us safe. I have confidence in the Word of God. Amen? During this time, we're going to turn panic into praise. Do you hear what I said? We're going to turn panic into praise. We're going to be worshiping the Lord during this time. Now, we're not gathering in church, but we can gather at home. It says where two or three are gathered. Amen? So if two or three are gathered, we can, we're not going to panic. We're going to praise God. And also, we're not going to fear, we're going to use our faith. The Bible says, faith pleases God. And so during this time, panic's going to come, start praising the Lord. Fear's going to come, start exercising your faith and say, Lord, your word says that you'd watch over me, that you'd never leave me nor forsake me. You said you would always be there for me. Even though I might stumble, you're there to pick me up. Amen? Years ago, the Lord spoke to me a sermon, and I called it Wilpit. W-I-L-P-I-T. What that stands for, walk in love 
and pray in tongues. We that are Pentecostal, we that have been baptized in the Spirit of God, and we have the gift of praying in tongues. Praying in tongues in Corinthians, it says, when we pray in tongues, we're not speaking as unto man, but we're speaking as unto God. And so during this time that we're going through right now, folks, and we're going through it, this is, this is going to be over. The church is going to be victorious, and we're going to be standing. Amen? But if we walk in love right now, the best thing that we can do is walk in love, praying for our neighbors, giving to our neighbors, helping those less fortunate, loving the world like God loved the world, but then also praying in the Spirit getting in your closet and praying in the Spirit because we're speaking to God the, the unseen things of God, the Holy Ghost praying to God during this time. Amen? So it's not a time to be fearful. It's not a time to, to, to start hoarding stuff. The Lord is our shepherd. I shall not want. And you know, then Proverbs says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean to the left. Don't lean to the right. Acknowledge him. He said he will direct our steps. So we have that assurance. Amen. I just want to encourage you today, though. God loves you. God's on your side. He said, count it all joy. <laughs> Brother James said that. Boy, hell was breaking loose when he said that. He said, count it all joy in the midst of this. It does something. We're, we're, we're in the world, Jesus said, but I'm not like the world. And we can do this in the midst of this, whatever you want, a pandemic that we're going through right now. Folks, it's short-lived. We're going to get through it, and we're going to be stronger when we get through it. Amen. So I just encourage you today, read your word, pray, and uh, boy, I'll be glad we can get back to church. We can start hugging on one another and shaking everybody's hand because that's what God, he loves that when we gather together. But for right now, we're hunkering in place and uh, we're doing what we can do right now. But remember, walk in love and pray in tongues. Our victory is in the medicine that God's already given us. His name, his word, and his blood. We got it all. Amen. God bless.